up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel for today's video. I'll review natin yung Starlink. Since one month ko na siyang ginagamit. And then also explain ko rin kung paano mag-operate ang Starlink. So Starlink is internet provider founded by Elon Musk. So ganito mag-operate yung Starlink. Ito lang. Umpisa yun sa ground station, papuntang satellite to your Starlink disk. Ang ground station, it means yun yung data center na nagpo-provide ng information. Pumunta dun sa constellation satellite to your Starlink disk, na pupunta sa yung router, napakasa sa yung phone, computer, or any kind of device. While compared sa fiber, like Converge, PLDT, cable sila mag-operate. You know, the type of cable, di ba? Cable sila nag-ooperate. Parang ganito ah. Yan, data center. Tapos, sa other distribution na naman. Data exchange. Puntang yung distribution ulit. Papunta sa mga kanya-kanya bahay. So, dalawang plan yung meron. Yung Starlink. Yung residential plan. At yung Rome RV. Ano nga ba yung... Residential plan. Residential plan is Starlink Residential is the original internet plan offered by Starlink. It's the standard level of service intended for majority of customers globally. Residential is meant to be used at one permanent location and it's meant for home user only, not businesses. So yung nga, yung residential plan is for home lang. It's a permanent location lang. Taka yun yung standard level of service na binibigay ng Starlink sa mga users nito. So, in terms of speed naman ng residential plan is capable of download speed of 20 to 100 Mbps and upload speed of 5 to 15 Mbps. Data is unlimited. All those speeds will slow after 1 TB of usage and latency is 25 to 50 Mbps. So, ayun nga, no? Yung residential plan is capable sa bilis na 20 to 100 Mbps while yung upload speed naman is 5 to 15 Mbps. Data is unlimited pero pag umabot ka na ng na-reach mo na yung 1 TB medyo magiging slow na ito. Not kind of talagang slow. So, Starlink RV naman tayo. So, Starlink RV is an internet plan for travelers, RVers, van drillers, and overlanders are invented customer market for Starlink RV. This service tayo allows you to take Starlink anywhere and use it to stay connected in areas with active styling coverage. So, yung guys, yung Rome RV naman is pwede mo ilagay sa sakyan, dalin mo kahit saan, basta as long as connected sa areas with active styling coverage, makakasagap pa rin naman ito ng internet. And then, the hardware you get with RV is identical to residential hardware. The difference is ability to use the dish outside of your registered service address. So, ayun na, yung styling hardware sa residential at RV is same lang. But yung ability o yung kakayahan nitong mag madala mo sa ibang service address, yun yung meron sa Rome RV ng Starlink. So sa RV naman, you can get download speed of 5 to 50 Mbps and upload speed to 2 to 10 Mbps. There are no hard data caps and latency remains identical to other device tires at 25 to 50 Mbps. RV is similar to best effort where bandwidth is deprioritized. RV users will notice slower speed compared to residential users in times of network congestion. So, ano nga, no? Sa residential plan is stable lang yung network mo. While sa room, RV is medyo pagka deprioritized o may pagkabagal kasi nga, ano ka, nasa RV ka is palipat-lipat ka ng buga. And then the other one is portability. Ito, hindi naman ang uh, other plans. So, parang ang uh, service add-on. Starting portability mode is technically a separate internet plan. But it is an add-on service for residential customer. Portability turns its residential disk into a portable RV disk. If purchased, the portability add-on will be able to pack up your residential disk and use it anywhere just like it with RV. So, guys, nakalimutan ko pala yung RV is pwede mo i-post yung subscription mo. So, ayun, yung portability is adds-on lang sa residential plan. O, if, let's say ako, meron na akong residential plan ngayon. Kung gusto kong mag-travel, at dalhin ko yung styling residential ko, is kailangan ko muna mag-avail ng portability para madala ko kahit saan yung residential plan ko or yung styling disk ko. Kasi, madami kong napanood na reviews po na ka residential plan is nadadala mo na to pipe anywhere na no, mali yun. Kailangan mo na mag-add ng portability bago ka maka-access in any other areas kung saan mo mandalin yung starling 
residential plan mo. So, yung residential plan is 2,700 per month subscription lang. And like sa RB is 3,300 pesos with built-in portability naman yun. Kung gusto mong mag-ads on ng portability sa yung residential plan is mag-avail ka lang ng portability which is 600 pesos lang. So, bakit nga bang mahal ng Starlink RB compare sa residential plan? So, Starlink charge a bit more for RB because it has portability featured already built-in. So, meron ng portability built-in ang RB. Yung di mo na kailangan pang avail pa ng any other portability pa unlike sa residential land para kung gusto mong dalhin sa ibang lugar, di ba? Then, so, ayun, sabi dito, residential user can travel with their just this, just like RB users if they add portability to their plan. But if you don't need that feature, residential is cheaper. O, oh, hindi ka naman umahalis ng bahay, dyan ka lang sa may work station ka, dyan sa nasa bahay, so, dun ka na mag-stay ka na sa residential. Pero ako, since mga next month, Pakapunta ako ng Visayas, which is na nga sa gusto ng O, mag-avail ako ng portability, and then itatry ko dun sa probinsya kasi mahirap yung internet dun. So ito pa, transfer service. One of the big advantage of residential over RB is ability to transfer hardware from one person to another. This means there is a used market for residential hardware. You can buy a used dish and have service transferred to your name if you decide you don't need it. You will be able to sell it to someone else later on. So, magkano nga ba yung Starlink hardware? Starlink hardware is 29,000 or let's say 30k, 2,700 per month. So, ang big advantage noon kumpara sa RB is yung residential plan is pwede mong magbenta sa iba and then pwede mong palitan ng pangalan have service transferred to your name. Pwede mong palitan yung pangalan unlike sa Starlink RB cannot be transferred at this time. If you ever decide you don't need it anymore, you are stuck with it. This also means you can buy used RB units so you'll have to pay the full MSRP if you decide to go with RB. So wala kang mabibiling ganun. Wala kang mabibiling RB room sa iba and next residential plan is makakabili ka ng use then ito pa transfer mo sa name mo so yun lang so where to buy nga ba nung or where to order tong Starlink hardware just visit www.starlink.com iisa lang po yung distributor kaya beware of scam and then for today meron na handling fee I know kasi kami yung nag order is which is free pa yung shipping and handling fee Which Starlink should I order? The best Starlink service is probably depends on what you plan to do with it. Are you stuck on the waitlist, desperate for internet? Perhaps you have main house and vacation home that you plan to take your Starlink to? Get Starlink if you primarily need home internet service. You occasionally never need to travel with Starlink. You want the highest level of performance at home, or you will use Starlink year-round. So, so you na kuwag ka ng residential kung primarily na sa bahay ka lang, and occasionally or never ka na to travel, and talagang tumo yung highest performance speed ng Starlink. So, you will use Starlink year-round, and then get Starlink Roam RB if you primarily need. Recreational portable travel internet service, or you can't wait on the residential wait list, or you want the ability to post monthly service payments, you don't mind performance inconsistency. Ayun nga guys, kumuha ng RB if nag-travel ka, hindi ka makapag-wait sa residential wait list, at gusto mo ang ability makapag-post ng monthly service payment, yun yung kagandahan din sa RB, is pwede mo ma-post yung subscription plan mo, while sa residential is hindi mo pwede i-post, at saka sa get styling RB if talagang hindi mo mind yung performance inconsistency, or hindi mo, wala kang pakisabilis o sa performance nito, kuha ka ng styling RB. So, take note guys, If you just need portable internet to use some multiple location with RB, you'll be able to post service when you aren't using it, right? Other residential, if you primarily need home internet and it's available at your address. You can still travel with residential plus portability, but you'll get better performance when at home if you have residential, okay? So, sa power consumption naman tayo. So, I research naman is 50 to 75 watts. 
pag active use kano consume na no? starlink hardware at 20 watts naman pag hindi kina gamit so pwede mo it turn off ito by unplug it or sa mobile app na no? starlink pwede mo i on or off so the standard starlink hardware just uses some yung standard na pong consume is 50 to 75 watts talaga they include na dito yung antenna yung router power supply and cables at saka Kung gusto niyo palang i-view yung mga satellite ng Starlink is just visit www.satellitemap.space Doon mo makita ko saan yung mga satellite ng Starlink at yung mga ground station natin Pero nowadays, I know wala pa tayong ground station dito sa Pinas Pero soon, I know, why na I heard na magtatayo sila dito sa Angeles City ng ground station So, who is Starlink ko? Parang yun ba yung Starlink? Ito ay una so mayaman, wealthy people can afford the latest tech, usually early adapters, di ba? Mayaman, pero disclaimer po, di ako mayaman, di po ako mayaman. And number two is yung mga taong afford ito. At the same time, nag-award na kung ayaw ng mga store mo. Tapos kinuha namin itong Starlink, yun yung reason na kinuha namin itong Starlink para yung boss ko hindi na may store mo kasi work from home siya. Para hindi na siya may storbo. Kasi yung current internet by the name which is Converge is unstable. You know Converge naman. Kaya sorry Converge. Just saying the truth. Hindi maganda yung service nyo. Kaya maralas pala mabagal. Yan mga taong work remotely overseas. Yun. Apport din to. And then, number three. People that are in remote areas don't have fiber providers such as convert PLDT and smart. And then mga tao na sa liblib na lugar, syempre. Tulad sa probinsya, sa mundo, hindi naabutan ng fiber cable. Instead na mag-globe or smart kayo, dito na kayo sa Starlink. One-time investment na ito, walang contract. And then, mabibenta mo pa siya once na nagsawa ka na. Once na nag-appeal ka pala ng Starlink is meron kang 30-day free trial. Pwede mo i-try yun within 30 days. If hindi para sa'yo, pwede na ipa-liquid pool ni Pan. Kaya siya ako po yun ang mas. The question is, worth it nga ba yung Starlink? For me, it's yes, worth it. For me, ha? yes, worth it. Compare sa other internet provider. Let's just di ko naman sinasabi, hindi sila ma- di yun maganda. Hindi sila mabilis. Yung boss ko nga is nag-work remotely overseas. Which is kailangan niya to. Parang hindi siya mag-storbo. But for me, medyo pricey pa siya. Sana ilang mas babaan mo yung presyo. Gawin mo na lang 1,500 per month. Yun, o kaya 2,000. Okay na yun. Sana bumaba pa yung presyo ng Starlink dito sa Pilipinas. Kaya yeah, worth it din siya. If mayaman ka, yes, worth it siya. And then, kung sa remote area ka naman, or rural, rural area, is yes, sa Starlink ka na, one time investment lang. Instead, mag-globe ka, which is talagang, and di maganda yung service ng globe. Na experience ko na rin yan, because yung first internet provider ko is low and smart. Ay, naku, sakit sa ulo. Kaya dito ko na sa Starlink. Kaya, yeah, unless review, if I rate it scale at 1 to 10, well, I rate it. 9, 9.5 Yes, Starlink is the best So, ito pala yung Lispid test ko during Daily and night test Ayan na nun, talikoran nyo lang Ito yung speed test ko during the night Nabi siya ng 77 Mbps Umuulan pa dyan ha Ito naman yung Speed test ko during the day not bad ha? 179 BPN ito naman yung converge speed test natin tignan mo 600 Mbps yung subscription plan namin pala dyan ha tignan mo yung nakukuha namin so yun lang yung honest review ko guys about studying so kung may suggestion question opinion kayo just comment down below and thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe peace